Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London. The time is 7.58 in the morning. It's very early on a Wednesday morning and this is the first of um, the first video update that I've done in a while because I've been uploading the Gumball stuff. Went to London over the weekend so I was ma managed to bring the Supercars of London YouTube uh, channel back to its roots and film back in London which I'll continue to do over the summer months catching some of the, uh, the rarest and most colourful supercars that will arrive in London very soon. Um, but I just wanted to give you an update, um, announce a few things and uh, tell you where the Supercars of London YouTube channel is going over the next couple of weeks, couple of months um, and, and touch base with you what you guys are up to. Um, hopefully I get to see you over um, the next couple of months in central London. Um, so let's start with the car. The car hasn't moved since the uh, since I arrived back in, in, in London from France. Um, so the car will be going in for a, a post Gumball 3000 health check very, very soon at SB Race Engineering. I'll film it all so you guys can see what's involved. Um, there's going to be a service, there's going to be a few um, diagnostics um, and hopefully we can get everything uh, back to normal. And of course we're going back up to Kick Customs to take all of the stickers off. A lot of questions being asked about the stickers and about that front Audi badge as well. That's quite controversial. It will be going back on um, and it will be going on in black, which I'm looking forward to. And then once the stickers are off, it's going to be like a complete car. I feel like with the, with the Audi badges back on and the stickers off, it's going to look really, really cool. I'll take some cool photos for Instagram but also for the, uh, to do some cool videos for YouTube as well. Kit Customs did a brilliant job of getting the car ready and making it stand out for Gumball 3000, but just these extra touches and taking the stickers off as well is going to be quite exciting to see. But moving on further into the week, uh, we are at Kit Customs, and then over the weekend we're in central London for some really cool events. I'm bringing my car down, and hopefully I'll be able to bring you the first video of Supercars of London uh, with a LaFerrari, which is exciting. I'll be going down to uh, film the start, the grid line of Mod Ball 2014, which starts in London. So I'm really excited about going down there. They say that there's a LaFerrari there. So that's even more of a reason to go down because I've never seen one and I am looking forward to seeing one in the flesh. Is it? I think, I think it's my favourite hybrid hypercar. Um, at the moment, of course, I've seen a P1. I like the look of the P1. I've seen a 918. I like the look of the 918. But for me, the LaFerrari is just the... Um, it's the ruler. It, Ferrari, of of course, rule the super, supercar world. Um, I'm just waiting for Lamborghini to bring out their version of the LaFerrari because then I probably like that the most. And then next week, I'm very, 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 very excited about bringing you a uh, special video about following my journey of um, becoming a 23 year old with an Audi R8. So for everyone who's asked the question, what do I do for a living? How have I got enough money to afford this car? All of your questions will be answered in this 20, 20 minute documentary that is going to be following my journey, answering a lot of um, questions and um, hopefully bringing you a really, really cool, insightful video. Hopefully there'll be a bit of advice in there as well to um, f for, the, for the guys that are just starting out on YouTube or thinking of starting for YouTube. So um, that video is going to be really cool. I'm excited to be filming with UK Vibe TV. Um, they'll be coming down next Wednesday. And um, see you in London if you're around next Wednesday. So there's lots to look forward to. I might start my car up so you guys can hear um, how the car sounds after not being driven for quite a while but first let's move on to my iPad because I've only just got the iPad and I've only just downloaded this cool game Asphalt 8 Airborne now for you guys that saw my car at Gumball or have seen photos there's actually stickers of the game on my car which is pretty damn cool um, it's probably um, the only driving game that I've downloaded on on, a, on a, a tablet or a mobile device, um, but it's re but it's really cool, and you can pick loads of cars. Here's my green Venino, if you can see that. There we go. Look at that. The only one in the world, the only Verda Ithaca Lamborghini Venino in the world, Lamborghini hypercar, um, and you can just get to race some really cool circuits: the Alps, Monaco, Venice, London. Um, I think I'm going to do a time trial. I'm going to race a lap in London and then try and beat it in my car 
Um, it's not condoning racing at all. It's just going to be quite a comical video because I'll be stuck in traffic for the majority of the time. But there's lots of really cool stuff that's going to be happening with this game. Um, working with, alongside Asphalt 8 with um, setting some lap times and then giving you, giving you guys the opportunity to beat me or to challenge me. Um, I'm still rubbish at the game, so I'm trying to get better. Um, but I've got some cool cars. I think I bought a, the first car that I bought was an Audi R8 e-tron because it was the only Audi R8 available. But that's in red. So um, I don't know how I can find it. Here we go. Let's try and find it. Here we go. There's my Audi R8. Doesn't look as good as mine, or I don't think it looks as good as mine. So, should we start my car up? Let's start my car up and see how it sounds. Remember, it needs a service. It probably needs the spark plugs changed, which is something to do with the ignition. I'm learning every day at SB Race Engineering about the, uh, the stuff that goes on with cars. Here we go. I'll open the door so you guys can proper hear it and do a bit of point of view. Remember, put my foot on the clutch. It sounds quite healthy. It sounds a lot healthier than it has done. Let's try the uh, gearbox. Pump the clutch a bit. Ready? That's as far as it goes. As far as it goes. One second. Look at all these gears I've got when my car's off. Have I got reverse? Yes, I've got everything. I get distracted when it's too early in the morning. That's what they always said at school, in my school reports. Always distracted. Back to the video. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this quick update. Um, the first one since Gumball 3000. I will continue to be doing these daily videos, whether it's a video blog, uh, a video about my car, or about the cars in London. Um, there's always going to be some cool content coming. I've got some really, really cool video shoots, video plans, video events, that sort of stuff coming soon. Like I said, this weekend I'm going to be in central London filming the start of Modball 2014. Um, hopefully a LaFerrari is going to be there. I'm going to be with my car. Then during the week, there's some really cool videos with UK Vibe TV. And then the following weekend is Goodwood Festival Speed, which is going to be the first time I ever go to Goodwood, which is crazy. But... I'm really excited about it. The content should be absolutely epic. Um, so stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there's going to be a lot more awesome automotive supercar content to come. So keep sharing Supercars of London to all of your friends, all of your car friends, um, and anyone that you think might be interested. It's incredible to think that uh, we were at 50,000 view, view, 50, subscribers, sorry, that's 8 o'clock in the morning, 50,000 subscribers two months ago, and now we're at 75 or nearly 75,000, which is just uh, insane. So um, when we get to 100,000, imagine the video that I'm going to be doing at 100,000. If you have any ideas on what we should do for a 100,000 subscriber special, um, let me know, because I think... Uh, ooh. It's the accelerator pedal. Just feels funny when the engine's not on and I'm not going, whoa! Again, I'm just getting distracted. Um, so I'll see you very soon. Tomorrow there's going to be a really cool video. I'm going to hope to do a point of view. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the bugs on my car. Make sure you subscribe, guys. See you later.
Make sure you subscribe for a hell of a lot more of this.